All right, so now we have the idea of what resolution is. Now we could maybe understand making a brush because now we understand that there can be an infinite amount of detail. Okay, and we got to stop ourselves though because you can't have an infinite amount of detail because then then it gets boring. It becomes a piece that you'll never finish because with infinite amount of detail you have no finish until you have finish in your head and you say hey that's enough I'm gonna go on to the next piece <laughs> so when we make a brush think about this so here I'll make a, a new document that's uh, 256 by 256 pixels so already that's a pretty big document as far as a brush is concerned in my opinion 256 by 256 let's make a new layer and hit OK and we'll trash this background out by hitting delete we will place double click here go to this brush and we'll place a blurry dot that is white we'll switch colors and hit X on the keyboard put a black dot in the center X we'll make a bigger one of those X put a dot in the center and we'll make one more X in the center. There we go. Let's make this into a brush. To do that, we go edit copy and edit paste as new brush. We'll call it hair. I'll, I'll name this hair too because I think I already have a hair. So this is going to make a file name and a hair and this is going to be stored within uh, your GIMP forever and always. And to get it out, by the way, if you mess this up, double click on brush. And sometimes it doesn't pop up. You have to go window, and, and you have to go to brushes. So you get this pattern. You get this. Notice at the bottom, this one has some of these, these have these. So you have a couple extra features. The one feature is, well, you can now right click and delete brushes. Where you couldn't over there. So here's my hair to brush. Good. Let's make a new document. And we'll make this document the 8.5 by 11. And we'll only limit our, we'll limit ourselves to 72 res at first. And for me, I like having a neutral background, like something gray, not white. White's hard to stare at, bad for your eyes. I'll go gray, and I'll fill this in. Then make a new layer, because that way I have some kind of control. Transparency. And then let's close some of these out so we don't get distracted. All right, so I have this brush. And it's on here too. Maybe I'll keep this one open so I can play around with the sizes and dynamics. And let's just kind of sketch around. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now X on the keyboard. So X switches these, but you'll notice that it's always the same case. No matter what X you hit, let's say it's white. Well, white is just going to have a darker center. 
black is going to have a lighter center. <laughs> but look at that. Isn't that. That's just amazing. The brush itself is art. Okay, so you can understand that it's it's a very powerful thing if you really think about it to make a brush, because you have to think all the way back to what what is what is it, and then you got all these other things that you can get all wrapped up in, like random color, for example. Oh, so many things. All because you made three dots. <laughs> so play around with that for a little bit. Uh, you know, make a make a brush. Make this time, and, and you can use the same document over and over again. By the way, and you can have a billion brushes, of course. But uh, think about shapes. Think about maybe just a line. What would a line look like? What would this with this what would that look like as a brush? Well, let's do it. Copy, paste as, brush, test. And then we can go back to our other document, which is the scratch pad, and then try that brush out. There's test. Not what you thought it was, was it? <laughs> so play around with brushes. You'll have fun with it. Just keep your imagination open. And you'll be fine. Let's go on to the next video.